Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching FantaVision, and today I'm doing a much requested video on tier lists. Well, I mean, it was requested a while ago, but I decided to do it today. We're going to do a tier list of all the different retail stores. I know this fad has kind of come and gone, but you know what? I thought it would be fun to do this. I liked your guys' idea, so we're doing it. We're doing it. So here we are, I've got a selection of some of the most popular retail stores out there. These are stores that I've gotten a lot of stories for. These are stores that, like I said, they're, they're kind of stores that I know. So I'm obviously not gonna have every retail store on this list that would be insane, but these are the ones that I've done stories for, that I've received stories for, have known people that have worked there, have known family members that have worked there, all of that sort of stuff. So let's just dive right in. In. But before we do, please leave a like. Helps a lot. Now let's dive in. All right, so let's start off with Dollar General. Oh, and how we're going to be grading this is the customer experience, so like what it's like to shop there, the employee experience, so what I've heard from working there, and just kind of the store overall, and we'll, we'll kind of go into that. So Dollar General. The customer experience isn't great. And what I'm saying for Dollar General is the same thing as Dollar Tree, any of those dollar stores. They're all about the same. They got those bright ass fluorescent lights. The store is like an off dirty white. Like it looks like they have never cleaned the floor ever. And all of the stuff is usually all over the floor. It's barely ever organized. And when it is organized, the organization doesn't completely make sense. Uh, this retail employees, the employee experience, I've had people send in stories about how miserable they are, and I've heard from people that have worked there in my life, they hated it there, and it's just not, it's not a great experience. I wanna get in and get out as quickly as possible. It's not, it's just, it's F tier. It's completely F tier. It's dollar general. I mean, what, I mean, it's dollar stores. What do you expect, honestly? I mean, what are they gonna do to make it better? They're they're making a dollar per item. I'm sure they've got some crazy profit margin because of how cheap the stuff is from China, but still. Now, Best Buy, I've had many different stories of. I actually don't mind going to Best Buy. I kinda like going to Best Buy. It's a place that has had the best gaming deals pretty much every single time. It. I've known people that have worked there. Eric may not have liked working there, but I know a lot of other people that didn't mind working there. And there's a couple other people I talked to that didn't have a great time there, but overall, it's not that bad. I don't really, I don't think there's going to be any S tier on here. I'm going to be completely honest. Actually, there might be, but I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it an A. It's not perfect. It definitely depends on who you're working with, who your manager is. But if you have a good manager, I've heard working here isn't that bad. The store environment isn't too bad. The people working there don't seem too miserable. And overall, uh, not I guess I've heard some horror stories. Ah, oh, it's like between a B and I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a BA. I'm gonna give it an AB. Can I have things in the middle? Nah, we're just gonna drop it down to a B. B for Best Buy. There you go. Screw it. Sears. Have you been in a Sears lately? Do you remember when Sears existed? Does Sears even exist anymore? Whenever I've gone in there, you can't find anybody. Everybody there looks like they're either given their two weeks notice or they just don't give a shit i mean it just does not seem like a good place to work i don't like the store at all i i just don't i mean it's kind of down there with dollar general they're kind of fading in existence nobody really shops at sears it's like one of those old companies that's still sticking around for some reason even though nobody cares qt is actually a gas station i don't even know why i put it in here gonna be completely honest but i know a lot of people that have worked there and I've been to a bajillion of these. QT is kind of like Circle K, but a little bit more upscale. People that work there seem to not hate their lives too much. They do seem like they've got like the, the whole Chick-fil-A smile where they've drank the Kool-Aid and it's kind of a culty environment. It's not as bad as Chick-fil-A when it comes to that and In-N-Out Burger and all that kind of stuff where they seem like way too happy for where they work. But... Overall, it seems like not a bad place to work. It's not a bad place to shop. Uh, I'm going to give it a B. We'll just get that one over with because a lot of people probably have never been there. Pier 1 has no another video, was another video topic, and Eric hated it. Eric absolutely hated working there. I know a couple other people that have worked there. 
they did not like it at all. The place is overpriced. It's, I mean, it's a nice store to walk into. It's not like it's overly bright. It's not like it's a dirty environment, but it's just kind of a pointless store that doesn't really need to exist. It's just overpriced, cheaply imported stuff. And I know some people are going to say, well, Fanta, I've found good deals there. And I'm sure you can, but overall, I've heard not so great things about it. Amazon. Now, Amazon is technically not a retail store, but it's an online retail store. And a lot of, you know, there's a lot of different positions that they have to have in real life that aren't online. And this rating is going to include warehouses, drivers. And the thing is, is that it would be an F if it were just the warehouses, because the warehouses are a nightmare. If you drive for Amazon as a contract driver and you're not a full-time employee through a company, it's probably going to be an F as well. So because of that, I got to give it an E because even though Eric really likes his job, it's not because of Amazon itself. It's because of the company that Amazon has hired to hire the drivers. So I'm going to put it in the E range. GameStop. Now GameStop has a long history on this channel. I've made countless videos about it. I will continue to make countless videos about it. It is a store in decline. I have a friend there that's a manager. He seems to enjoy working there, but it's gotten even worse for him because this whole mobile phone trade-in fiasco where they have to get a certain amount traded in or they get fired. So he's got to be on everybody's ass for that. Whereas before he was like ultra chill and it didn't really matter. And the environment keeps fluctuating between really a, like a great place to work. Like at its best, I loved working at GameStop. When it was really relaxed, corporate wasn't down our throats. They weren't constantly pushing us to bother every customer a thousand times. They weren't checking the cameras. It was great. But when they were doing all that, it was one of the worst places to work. And it was like you're in some weird fascist thing that just kept getting worse day by day. So, I mean, it some there were some days that it was S tier. I'm gonna be honest, guys. That was by far the best place I worked when it came to retail. But because of the constant, how bad it's been getting, and the phone trades, and the hostile work environment, and all of these stories coming out from GameStop, and people I've talked to, things that Camelot's talked about, things that so many different people have discussed with GameStop, it's got to be a D. Even though most of my experiences with the company weren't too bad, got to give it a D. GNC, I'm just going to include all health, medicine, like vitamin stores, all in this, all the pseudoscience BS stores. These are overpriced scam havens that are basically the GameStop for vitamins. And they'll lead you to the most expensive products. They sell products that are not guaranteed by the FDA. There's so many issues with this place. I had a friend that worked there. He said it was a nightmare. And uh, yeah, we're going to put that in the E. Almost F. I almost want to give that an F. We might come back to that. Goodwill. Goodwill pretends to be a charity when really most of it is just giving jobs to otherwise unemployable people, like people that just got out of jail stuff like that. I mean, that's great. You're employing people that normally wouldn't be able to get a job, but at the same time, their CEO makes over $300,000 and they pretend to be a charity when they're, it doesn't, it doesn't really seem like they are. Overall, as a company, they're not that great. You go into the stores, they always feel dirty. I don't know what it is about Goodwill. They just never seem like they're clean. It just feels like they're infinitely dirty. And I'm not talking about the items that are there because those definitely are dirty. I'm talking about the floors. I'm talking about the, the shelves that they're on. It's barely organized. Half the discs are missing. And I've had people that worked there and they said it was a freaking nightmare and it was just a very toxic work environment. So we're gonna give that an F. Again, people are going to disagree with me. That's fine. That's fine. You can let me know in the comments where, where you guys would actually put some of these things and just discuss it. I'm, I'm sure I'll reply. Just don't be a dick. Kroger. Now, Kroger, I'm going to include... This is just all grocery stores compacted into one. I'm talking about like Safeway, Fries, Kroger, whatever your local equivalent is, Publix. All those places look and feel almost exactly the same, which is crazy because they're not all owned by the same company. But... I've heard from people that worked there, it's not that bad. You know, it really depends again on who your manager is and all that sort of thing. But you could say that about any of these places. But the environment isn't that bad. It's nice and clean. 
the customer experience isn't going to be too bad for you know having to deal with the customers there because it's just groceries and as a customer going there i don't mind going to grocery stores i you know i mean i just have to do it sometimes so i'm gonna put that in the uh, i'm gonna put that in the b category i might i might upgrade best buy i don't know i don't know we'll see office depot office max now that's another job that was kind of a joke for eric he didn't hate working there but he did hate working there because of the clientele that came in he wasn't a fan of and that's like a dying breed of stores it's so pointless you can buy every single thing that is at office depot and office max at other stores you can buy that stuff on amazon you can buy it anywhere there's no reason to go to an office specific store walmart carries everything target carries most of the same things there's no reason for the store. So I just got to give it an F because it's just pointless. No, I'll upgrade it to a D. Just because working there, if you want to work there, it's not that bad. You can make commission on stupid things like selling antivirus. What a weird thing. There's just random opportunities to sell antivirus and stuff like that. Now, Target's another one of those places that I've heard mixed things from, but overall generally working there is not a bad experience. I've heard that you can listen to your own music, it's generally relaxed. The only issue with Target is that you just don't get the hours you need, and that's it. And that's the only, I mean, it's a big issue, but the fact that there's really nothing else wrong with it, I mean, it's, it's hovering around A. I like shopping at Target. They used to have some amazing deals. They used to have a lot of great glitches. And overall, I like Target. I mean, they're a little bit more expensive than Walmart, but it's the place you pay more to not have to shop at Walmart. And that's true. I mean, you don't have to... You don't have to work there if you're working at Target. You don't have to shop there if you're going to Target. It's overall a much better experience than Walmart. And I know I'm sure there's a lot of other people that are out there that have had bad experiences, but it's just, it seems like overall not a bad experience from people. Toys R Us is a complete failure of a company. It doesn't exist anymore. I think they said it might be coming back, but honestly, it's kind of a pointless store. It doesn't really need to come back. It never really, at least my local Toys R Us, I don't know anyone that's ever worked there. And it always looked like exactly how it did when I was a kid. And like some people would say that's a good thing, like nostalgia and all that. But I, it just, it felt, ah, I don't know. I never needed to shop there. The deals were always the worst. And it was full of children because it's Toys R Us. I mean, overall, it's a pointless store. It may be gone and that's sad for a lot of people for the nostalgia reason, but for like a shopping experience reason, I mean, when the hell was the last time you actually shopped at Toys R Us? I, I don't think anybody, because again, you can get everything at Toys R Us everywhere else. You can get it on Amazon and not have to deal with anything. Super fast shipping. That's the thing. Amazon's just gonna kill off most of these stores, but you could also get it at Target. You could get it at Walmart. You could get the same stuff at Best Buy. You get better deals at Best Buy. You could get better deals at GameStop than you could Toys R Us. And there's so many toys at GameStop. GameStop's the new Toys R Us. And just like Toys R Us, they're dying. Walgreens. Now, Walgreens, I'm going to include, again, a whole bunch of them. Because if I just took all the different stores that could fill this list, this is including Walmart, CVS, any of those, like, corner stores, those convenience stores that aren't connected to gas stations but feel like they kind of should be. So this, whenever I go into Walgreens, I'm just kind of in and out. I'm usually just buying just energy drinks or just something I need right away when there's not a grocery store nearby that's open. Most of the time, it's just energy drinks and the deals there aren't that bad. I know people that have worked there and it's not a terrible environment. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's kind of a C. It's a C. It's another one of those stores that doesn't really need to exist, but sometimes it's more convenient to go to a Walgreens than to go to a Fry's or a Safeway or any grocery store or anything like that. Walmart. Walmart is just an awful company overall. I mean, they, I mean, I guess they don't pay horribly, but there was at one point where they're talking about how most of their employees are on food stamps and how they're costing us a ton of money in tax, just like because of the food stamps, because they're not paying enough for people. They don't give enough hours. They don't promote people that need it. Most of the time, the... The management's really shitty. I only shop there because of the convenience, because they're open 24-7. And you know what? Because they're open 24-7, I got to give them an E. 
I mean, they should have an F, honestly, but I can't give it to them because I just have to say it's so convenient that they're open 24-7. There are some times in the middle of the night, I'm like, shit, I need this specific thing right now. Walmart's most likely going to have it. Or I need this to, for tomorrow. Nothing else is open. Walmart's going to have it. But overall, I don't want to shop at Walmart. I don't want to work at Walmart ever again. That was the most miserable eight months of my life. And I've heard countless horror stories from Walmart, from shoppers, from people that worked there. And overall, it's just a just an awful store. Costco. Costco's a store that is, it's like Sam's Club, but not owned by Walmart, so it's just good. You get free samples for food. The food court is bomb. I mean, oh my God, you get that hot dog for like a buck 50 and it's huge and it comes with a large drink and it's a buck 50, what the hell? You get their pretty good ice cream. They took off the chocolate swirl though. Why'd you do that? The churro is kind of okay. I love the chicken tube thing i don't even know what it is it's like a it's like a bread it's like a bread tube and there's chicken in it no one's watching at this point i could just ramble on whatever i want about this chicken thing it's got bacon in it it's got some sort of like salad dressing that's delicious it's got cheese uh it's got burnt cheese on the outside of this bread thing i'm gonna keep going about the bread thing because it's delicious and it's like three bucks and it's huge and the deals in Costco are phenomenal. I mean, you could just buy a bunch of like frozen foods that aren't that bad for you. You can buy a bunch of fresh food, just throw it in a freezer. You can stock up, buy bulk. You can buy bulk snacks. I mean, this is from Costco. Oh no, is this from Costco? I don't know what this is from. It's from Trader Joe's or something. Should put Trader Joe's on here. And you know what? It's just a phenomenal store. They pay their employees really well if you can get the job there. They have their own branded stuff that's always a great value, unlike, you know, great value, which is a lot of people hate. And just overall, people that work there, they have, they have a better life, you know? It's, it's, they say save money, live better over here at Bullshit Mart, but at Costco, they don't even have to say that. They don't have to have some stupid tagline because it's true. They're just a phenomenal store and I've heard nothing but good things. I've watched like this documentary about how they pick their brands for Kirkland, how they pick their toys, how they pick what's in the store. And they go through this vigorous process to make sure what they're slapping their brand on is actually a good thing. They have wine tasters go out. It's crazy. It may not be the best vodka, but it's good vodka that they have. It may not be the best wine, but it's great wine for what the price is. So overall, Costco's S tier, by far. If you don't think so, tell me why. Because I have never had a bad experience at Costco with anybody that works there. Everyone's super friendly. Nobody seems to hate their life. It's just one of those stores that it's so surprising that it's like that. And the fact that that they've kept those food prices down for so long. I and mean, what a what a random thing to keep low in price. That dollar fifty hot dog. And there's a whole story behind it. I mean, it's ridiculous. So Costco by far wins in this tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it seemed pretty pointless, but you know what? It was a fun video to make and I know a lot of people were asking for it. And let me know what you guys think about the list, where you'd put some things, stores that I missed that should be on this list and where you'd place it. Please like the video, it really does help. I don't even know what's going on with the algorithm. I keep saying it hates me. I don't even know what's going on. It's just like spazzing out. And as always, have a fanta-tastic day. Oh, and please, for the love of God, send me retail stories. I'm completely out. Today, I'm drinking my last Belching Beaver Deftones Phantom Bride IPA. I don't really have a whole lot of beer left in the fridge. Just one of the last things I grabbed. And yeah, this video is actually a lot of fun to make. Thanks for watching it. Thanks for still watching. It's pretty phenomenal. I am hopefully shooting the podcast tomorrow so I can get that up as early as possible. I've completely lost track of all the days because of my days off. I was really sick at one point. I was in Florida at one point. It's been it's been a hectic holiday for me. Hope it's all been good for you guys and I hope you all have a wonderful I almost said Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. And I'll see you all in 2020.